Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay. I have a Bolo video for you guys. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And these items were all a part of the 99 cent free shipping challenge that I coordinated with 29 different resellers that had a YouTube channel. I'm going to tell you there are some big money bolos in this video. These participants, challengers, competitors, whatever you want to call them, brought their A game. So um, I got to share them with you guys. That's how we learn, right? We learn from each other. And that was what was so great about this challenge. And um, it's just amazing. Just amazing. It was a, a great group and it was a lot of fun. And some items went for more than I expected. And some items went for less, which was kind of a bummer. But part of the challenge and part of the risk of the challenge is that that could happen. So are you guys ready? Let's check out these bolos. And this first set, oh my goodness, big money. All right. Um, let me get my screen share up. And they were kind enough to give me the information, share with me where they got it and what they paid for it, which is fantastic and helps to educate us in another way. All right. So the first item is this Lego Star Wars yoga, yoga, oh my goodness, Yoda. <laughs> it's a collector series, UCS, not complete, you guys. It's not complete. Check him out. That is cool. That's really cool. Okay. So he, first, let me tell you real quick who had the item. Cajun Reseller had this item up for auction. Please go sub to C Cajun Reseller. He is at 813 subscribers. He's working really hard to get to 1,000. So I will link his eBay store and his YouTube channel along with all the other resellers down in the description of the video. So if you guys can go and sub and check out their stores, that would be fantastic. Lego Yoda. Okay. He said, got in a big Lego buy for 900. So he bought a huge lot of Legos for $900. Um, averaged out to be probably around $20 on this guy. And he sold for $113 and 51 cents. And remember, he's not complete. Look at that. That is cool. That's very cool. I don't think I've seen one like that. The next one is this Lego City Jungle Exploration Site. New and unopened, retired. This was a RA, which is retail arbitrage pickup, that I held for a little because lots of Legos go up in value once they are retired. He paid about $40 for it. And it sold for $187.50. So what he did is he bought it and he held it and he waited for it to retire. And look how much it went up. He bought it for $40 and it sold for $187.50. Definitely a good tip. The next item is this Five Nights at Freddy's plush. It's from 2016. Shadow Freddy came in a lot of plush that he bought off of Mercari. Oh my goodness. Um, probably had around $20 in him and he sold for $236.50, you guys, on auction with 44 bids. How amazing is that? And he got it on Mercari. That is cool. The next item are these 2018 Holiday Barbies, signature doll, 30th anniversary, white burnette, a a new um the barbies i paid nine dollars each for at walmart totaled around 30 once taxes included sold for 255 dollars there you go how cool is that it's the set of three and they sold for 255 dollars so again another ra pickup awesome um, and then the last item are the fun is it Funko or Funko? Funko? I think I say Funko and it's Funko. The Funko Pops. And it is Envy Adams and Todd Ingram 
uh, Scott Pilgrim exclusives limited to 2,500. This is another thing I know nothing about, obviously, since I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's these two figures and he got them in a Funko shop website and paid $37 for them. And they sold for $380 with 46 bids. How awesome is that? All right, you guys, go check out Cajun Reseller. He is also a big plushy person, um, loves selling plush. So you will see lots of plush on his channel. So if you're into plush or want to know more about plush, definitely head on over and subscribe and check out his content. Right. Now, are you guys ready for some big money bolos? Here we go. So this is a, oh, I knew how to say it and I forget. Um, somebody told me, is it Lerardo? No. L Ladro? Ladro, maybe? L-L-A-D-R-O. Ladro. I think it's Ladro. Retired, gentle embrace, mother and child. This is beautiful. It is just a stunning piece. And it went for big money. So she said, this figurine was just one item of a truckload that we were lucky enough to handpick from a storage unit. Opportunity knocked and we opened the door. We paid 800 for the entire truckload. So I'm estimating that this one piece cost maybe two to five dollars. Um, and she said, thanks, Courtney. P.S. There is a video showing that day on my channel. So if you guys want to check out her YouTube channel, it looks like she has a video where she um, picked up this item, maybe got the storage unit, but you can see this is how it's marked on the bottom. And her channel is Yard Sales and Dreams, and I'll show you guys here shortly. But this sold for $355 with 44 or with 40 bids. The next item is this vintage Star Wars 1978 Kenner sealed bagged Obi-Wan Kenobi Hong Kong toy figure. So he's old. He's still sealed in the plastic, you guys. So let's see. She wrote figure. Bought this figure around 8 to 10 years ago. I'm in northern Kentucky, close to Cincinnati. I went to a yard sale of a former, former Kenner employee that had worked there in the 70s and 80s. She had several tables of orange and black boxes of Star Wars toys. I picked one up and it was marked 1978. I asked how much and she said large boxes were 10, small boxes were 5. She said, I bought all she had, which was about 20 some boxes, two Darth Vader head cases and um, see through the bagged figures in. And she threw the bagged figures in. Um, so she got this free. Sold for $168 with 28 bids. The next item is this vintage Alpha uh, Romeo car model, Japan, new old stock. And it sold for $56.01. And, and the Fendi right here, this Fendi perfume sold for $93 with 39 bids. It is also new and sealed. And I put those together because she said... Both of these came from the same storage unit as the Ladro. I think I'm saying it right. Pat myself on the back. And if I'm saying it wrong, well, then I just look silly. Ladro, Ladro, Ladro. Okay. Um, so she got those two things at the same storage unit, all in the bulk truckload for 800. We have enough stuff that from that pick to keep us busy for months, but I still source because that's what I love. Yes, I can relate to that. I love sourcing also. So this um, is a World War II uh, photo album, scrapbook, military pictures, horse pictures. Super, super cool. Very, very old. Sold for $99.01 with 22 bids. I bought this at a local yard sale. A fellow reseller that I know had this at his yard sale. I paid 30 for it because I absolutely love old photographs. I love buying them, enjoy looking at them, and selling them. Ladro Nativity, storage bulk lot by estimated cost. Oh, sorry. That's for something else. Stay tuned. <laughs> I accidentally uh, read you something from another video. That one will be coming. Okay, so this is Yard Sales and Dreams and Danielle, and she is a reseller of stuff. You got to love that, right? 
So go check out her channel. She's got great content. She is a bolo finder. And um, I think you'll really enjoy her channel. So go check it out. And look at her dog. It got a hold of the package. Ah! Oh my goodness. So yeah, I have met so many great channels from doing this challenge. So it's pretty cool. I'm really glad I put it together and I'm glad I got to meet a lot of neat people. So she's at 504 subscribers right now. So go give her a sub. All right, the next person is, just a second, I'm pulling up my notes here. It is uh, Boris and Natasha wheeling and dealing, and we will come back to this, but let's look at their Bolo items. So they had this Garcia fishing reel, and um, this was from the Goodwill for $2.99. And it sold for $41 with 19 bids. And um, this may have gone for more with a uh, buy it now best offer. I think when I watched his original video, he he thought it was going to go a little higher. So that's a bummer. But um, still made some money. So that's always good. The next item are these New Balance shoes. And this one really surprised me. Um, these sold for $74. And uh, free shipping, of course, because of the challenge. And he got them at the Goodwill. I should say they got them at the Goodwill for $7.99. And they are the L.L. Bean collaboration shoes. So they're a rare, hard to find New Balance. And then I just thought that I would share this one with you guys because I feel like I see these all the time at garage sales and thrift stores. And I don't know if they went for more like maybe a subscriber bought it or if they just, this is the price they went for. Um, I don't think a lot of people had a lot of subscriber sales, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I had two, but, um, and I know that zombie bargain hunter bought from a lot of the channels. So maybe, maybe some of them, but I'm going to say that the, the pricing was pretty accurate. Um, so these came from a family member, so they got them free and they sold for $32 with free shipping and those will ship media mail. So that'll be pretty cheap. And again, this is Boris and Natasha Whelan and Dylan. So head on over and give them a sub. And I love this cha-ching. Um, I love their thumbnail. It like really, really pops. Yeah. That, I mean, if I saw that on the side, I'd be like, I want to see the cha-chings. So go check them out. All right. The next item is from Moonstone Mamas. And I cannot believe that this only went for $30. I, I just can't believe it because it's so cool. It's uh, Lee Sands. And she said that the set was not a matching set. I did see that in her original video. But they look, I mean, they're both lions. How cool is that? So it's earrings and a necklace. And she got this, let's see. Shopgoodwill.com, a box. She paid $42 for the whole lot. And this was a part of it. And very cool. Again, I thought this was going to go for much, much more. And she actually taught me about Lee Sands. I have a piece that um, I sent her a photo of and she's like, I think that's a Lee Sands. But you see how hers is marked LS here and on the back Lee Sands, my piece is not marked. But she said sometimes they're marked and sometimes they're not marked. So, and I don't think the earrings were marked. But it only went for $30. I do think on a buy it now with best offer, this probably would have went for more. That's just my opinion. I am not a jewelry expert. She did not tell me that. That I just think it's cool. I would have priced it really high because I think it's so neat. Um, the next item she sold is this gorgeous Betsy Johnson necklace. And this came out of that same Goodwill box that she paid $42 for the shop Goodwill box. And both of these items were in it. So um, sold for $71 with 29 bids. And it is a very, very cool piece. Betsy Johnson has very like blingy items, like her dresses and stuff like that. Just really, really cool stuff. So $71 free shipping. And 
please go check out Moonstone Mamas. She is a wealth of knowledge. She is my go-to for jewelry. Like I send her messages and I'm like, hey, can you help me with this? And I've had her in multiple videos because she just helps me out and she's awesome. And you should all definitely go sub to Moonstone Mamas. All right, the next item is this rock band guitar dongle. It's a dongle, guys. Such a strange word. And um, this she got free from her parents when they were purging stuff to move. And it sold for $44 with 26 bids. I don't know what the dongle's for. It's a, a receiver. It's for the guitar, I think. I don't know. $44, though. I guess they're a bolo. So be on the lookout. Uh, the next item is this Fujifilm Insta Mini camera. And it sold for $45 with 17 bids. And I don't know why. There we go. And this came from she wanted it work. So it was free to her and she sold it for $45. And when I say she, I mean Becca Sells. Becca Sells is a newer channel, so definitely go give her a sub. But you can see she's got quite a bit of content here. And um, she's been doing it for about eight months, but you can see she doesn't have a ton of videos yet. So go check her out. And um, she's got some mystery boxes, some Goodwill, Ben's Hauls, What Solds. So give her a sub. Give her a try. She's at 75 subscribers right now. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you three of my items, three of my five. Two of them were a want want. I could have got more with buy an hour best offer. If you want to see what my other two items sold for, you can go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I have a video over there. Um, you can also type in hashtag what sold auction 99 and that will bring up all of the channels. Um, I'm not showing all of the items for every channel. So if you want to see what their other items ended up selling for, you can go and put hashtag what sold auction 99 and that will pull up all of the videos for all of the participants in this challenge. So these are my Bakelite bracelets and um, a shout out to Carissa who bought these, one of my subscribers. She also bought my, um, what'd she buy? What was the other thing? Oh, the ring, the ring that I can't say, can't pronounce. But these Bakelite bracelets, they came out of a mystery uh, jewelry box that I purchased off of Donatella Bottolino. It was, um, I bought a, uh, a Dibble box and it was $110 for the Dibble box. I won it at her YouTube auction. I have a video on that of me unboxing it and what I got in that. That was not a mystery box. That was a box that I bid on at a YouTube auction on her channel and I won. And then I asked her to throw in to make it an even 150, a $40 jewelry box. And these bracelets were in that box. And I unboxed this also in a video. And then I also have a video where I test for Bakelite for these. So um, you guys can see how I do that too if you want to check out those videos. But these sold for $50. Um, Definitely could have gotten more with a buy it now or best offer, but I am super, super happy that Krissa got these because she's awesome. And she also bought this swan sign Savorsky. I know I say it wrong. It's a ring and it is stunning. It is so pretty. Super, super pretty. It's just a neat, cool, chunky I don't know if chunky is the right word, but it's a cool ring. And you can see right there, the swan, it's signed. And that's how I knew the brand. And I believe this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, which I have a whole series on that you guys can check out. Um, there's a playlist if you want to check that out. I bought, I think it was 344 pounds of jewelry. And the last item I sold that was actually a bolo is this Lisa Frank uh, zipper chaser. Um, what do you call it? Lisa Frank chaser. I think chaser is the name of the horse. It's an organizer with a zipper. Um, it's incomplete. And I sold another one of these that went for, I think it went for over a hundred dollars, but it was a little bit different. This one, um, I was hoping to get 75 or 80 for it, if I'm being completely honest, but it was not complete and I paid 25 cents for it at a garage sale. So $64 is not too shabby. 
and it did have this little area where there was a sticker on it. So, um, I didn't want to damage it trying to get it cleaned up. So I just left it for the person buying it. So $64 free shipping on that one. This is my new channel sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I just did a video on Squishmallows. You guys be really careful when you're um, looking up comps on these. Definitely go watch that video. I show you a way to kind of filter through and find out what is real and what is not real as far as sales go because there's a lot of a lot of sales that are not legit for those. It's kind of like the VHS and the um, the Disney VHS and the TY Beanie Babies. Same thing. So um, check out my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies videos. I've got a bunch. I'm working on growing that channel. I'm at 906 subscribers. I hope to be at 1,000 very soon. I'm about 1,000. Actually, I'm about 900 and some hours away from having my channel monetized. I'm super excited. So thank you everyone that has gone over and subbed to that channel and watched my videos. Um, I'm thinking in the next week or two, maybe by the time this video actually posts, I may be there. So fingers crossed, right? Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. share. All of those things help me and the algorithm and help the channel grow. And I do have merch available, which are like shirts, coffee mugs, all of that stuff. I finally got it together. Um, Robin from Because She Shed set that up for me because I spent 40 minutes trying to figure it out. And I just, I quit. I'm like, I can't do it. And um, she had done my trailer and my intro and my outro. And um, I just had her go in and I gave her my logo. And I'm like, please just do it for me. And it is done and ready to go. So there is a link down in the description of the video if you guys are interested in merch. And if not, no worries. Again, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.